Today, I feel really wound up. I could barely sleep last night. It was kind of similar to like when you wake up on Christmas morning and you're like, is it time yet? Is it time? Is it time? So tomorrow is my preventative double mastectomy. I feel like I'm ready. Are you ready? Nope. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm as ready as I think I could possibly be, though. I'm as ready as calm it is to go to the dog park. If we rewind a lot, I have always had a history of cancer in my family. So when my dad was diagnosed with cancer, I was... It wasn't that much of a surprise. The surprising part is that it was really aggressive and they caught it when it was already stage four metastatic prostate cancer. So my dad is my best friend. He's been my hero basically since I was a little kid. It's been the hardest hurdle task of my life to see him get sick and to see him go through treatment. I love you. I know, I love you too. Okay. Oh, I'm messing up your hat. That's okay. So when I called him and told him that I'm BRCA positive, he was devastated. So I think the first time I heard about BRCA was when Angelina Jolie had her preventative double mastectomy. Angelina Jolie told the world in a New York Times piece that she carries a genetic mutation. In 2013, she had both breasts removed and underwent reconstructive surgery. There are plastic surgery studies that show that when Angelina Jolie announced that she had a genetic mutation and was having mastectomies, the number of mastectomies and women undergoing genetic testing really jumped. I'm also seeing a lot more women in their 20s and 30s who they've seen family members get cancer, seen people potentially even die of breast cancer, and they do not want to ever be in that place. Come on. My lifetime risk of getting breast cancer is 87% my lifetime risk of getting ovarian cancer is a little over 30%. So I have six different meds. I truly have never once in this process questioned whether a mastectomy is the right thing for me. I spent weeks going through it and interviewing surgeon offices and being told many times, we can't uh, meet with you because you don't have breast cancer or you're too young, um, you don't need to be thinking about this. And being told just no. So it took a lot of just advocating for myself to be heard. So I'll make two lists. You do not need a sleeping pad. Okay. My bag and your bag. I want my robe, my drain belt. Wedge pillow. I don't know what it's gonna be like after my mastectomy and reconstruction. I have no idea how long it'll take for me to heal. I mean, I have some vague idea, but I don't know what I'm gonna look like really. And I do absolutely feel nervous about that. I'd be lying if I said I didn't. Can you tell me your full name and date of birth? <gasps> Serafina Nance 32593. All right, what are we doing for you today? Bilateral double mastectomy. Yes, with? With nerve grafting. Yes, and implant reconstruction. Yes. Alderm, okay. Taylor will take great care of her. Thank She's you. Thank awesome. you. Right. No doubts. I had my first surgery in August, which was a breast reduction in order to prime the pocket of the breast. Most women don't have any sensation in their breasts after a mastectomy. So that's another reason why I went with my surgeon is she's pioneering this incredible kind of opportunity for women to regain sensation. It's happening. We're doing it. We're doing it. <laughs> All right, so you can follow me. Bye. Bye, love you. Oh, you too. Sort of the novel thing we did today is nerve preserving and sensation preserving mastectomies. So we keep as many of the nerves as we can, and then the ones that we can't, we end up using a nerve graft to connect to under the nipple. 
We then did immediate one-stage breast reconstruction. I feel so proud of myself. Yeah. So I was like, how do you feel? I was like, so proud. It's done. You did it. Right. We did it. No, you did it. You did it. <laughs> you. After I got my mastectomy, my risk went down from 87% to less than the general population, which is 8%. You can see like the right there is where the drain was. That's the hole. I have full sensation in my right, on my right side. And on my left side, I have like sensation in half to three quarters of my breast. So I'm really, really thrilled with how they look and how they feel. This is my body now, like this is what it's gonna be like and I'm excited to like kind of get to know it. Closed as this chapter is in terms of breast cancer, my BRCA like chapter is not closed. In a couple of years, I will also remove my ovaries because I'm at risk for ovarian cancer. I talk to, you know, a lot of women and men who are scared to go get genetic testing and it is scary. That knowledge is, is definitely a burden and it's hard, but I think personally, I would way rather know and use that knowledge to empower me and my decisions.